Hello and welcome to Back of Tutorials. This is tutorial 4 of the TF8040 introduction series. Today we will visualize a heating circuit. My name is Daniel and I'm a product manager at Back of Building Automation. Today we will get an overview about the different toolbox categories of the BA controls. We will visualize a heating circuit and we will learn how to configure the navigation to navigate to a new content page. Please make sure that you finalize tutorial 3 and you use the created HMI project from tutorial 2. Let us start with the different categories which are added to the toolbox. First category is building general. Here are all controls located which have a general purpose for the building, for example the weather station. Second is the common category. Here are all controls located which can be used in various parts of the HMI for example the input box or the UI icon which we already used in tutorial 2. Third is the plan category. Here are all controls located which we can use to visualize any plant. Fourth is the management category. Here are all controls located which have a project with scope, for example the event list. The last category is room automation. Here are all controls located which we use to realize a page to control a room or a floor. Okay, now we will create a visualization for the heating circuit which we added to our PSC project in the previous tutorial. Before we do so, we need to refresh our device mapping so that the heating circuit is available in the mapped symbols. Search for HTC after the symbol was refreshed to verify that the refreshing was successful. If not, close and reopen the project. We start with creating of a new content page. Select new item on the content folder, then select content and name it heating. The new page is opened and now we drag and drop the heating circuit control from the plans category onto the content. Then we select the heating circuit and create a data binding to the BA object attribute. To do so, we can simply drag and drop the heating circuit instance from the Twincat HMI configuration window onto the BA object attribute. That is all we need to configure for the heating circuit itself. Now we will customize the navigation to access the created content page. We switch to the desktop view and select the header menu. Then we open the editor for the menu data attribute. In the shown editor, add a new menu item, set the name to heating and set the page to heating content. After confirming the dialog, a new entry will be available in the header menu. Let us now start the live view to see the visualization of the heating circuit. When the start page is displayed, select the new heating entry in the navigation to navigate to the heating content. On the displayed content, we now see the heating circuit with different values and events. We can also click on the different aggregates to open further dialogues and see further details. That's all for tutorial 4 of the TF8040 introduction series. Today we got an overview about the different toolbox categories and we visualized the heating circuit and used the navigation bar to navigate to a new content page. Thank you for watching Back of Tutorials.